Hello everyone, home here and welcome to another reaction. Today I'm gonna to be reacting to Classroom of the Lead Season 2 Episode 9. So in the last episode, what did we get in the last episode? So in the last episode we got a little So in the last episode we got Krishna's past slash back and now Ayano Koji and Horikita are in, in a bed with her where if Horikita scores less than Kushida in the exam, Horikita will withdraw from the school. So that's it. Without further ado, let's just jump into the episode. If you make a mistake and then if you make a mistake and do not correct it, this is called a mistake. Okay. Episode nine. Yeah, and the thing is, okay. if Kushida has the questions, then I don't know Koji can get the questions from her. I don't know Koji or Horikita wouldn't need to get involved with someone uh, with someone of class c to get the questions not whatever bro the cup is empty so Ooh. Obviously. Okay, that's a new one. Okay, so Ryohan has a new recruit. And I didn't understand. I don't think he realizes that it the mastermind is Ayano Koji. She was just saying it out loud to see if someone answers to the, the about the email. That's Sakura, isn't it? It's the second time we see her observing Ayano Koji. They're giving me a lot of focus for people who will be important for only one arc. I mean, I think it will be only for one arc. I didn't read the light novel, so... Why? <laughs> what an instant I <laughs> I thought I was gonna I was gonna regret liking this girl but okay still I don't think it's a little sus of her to just show out of nowhere and ask to join the group But for her historic, I don't think she would be a traitor too. She just wanted to see a movie, come on. Okay, she has a new mission. And probably that bag is something for Ayano Koji.
I was going to say Valentine's Day, but beer today is it makes sense too. That's yeah, especially you, Sudo. He's trying to make Kushida lose some of her approval on the class. I think. <laughs> and then look who's just there. Nice act, girl. Okay. Okay, so Horikita didn't ask her. No, I, I don't think so. And I don't think Ruin would. That isn't the right questions. And I don't think Horikita would tell Kushida to hand over the questions without already planning. Already having something planned hi hi get away from my boy every time someone says we're not gonna lose anyone anyone gets lost it's a basic rule of anime. <laughs> As I said, Ruin, oh, Ruin would not hand over the questions that easy. This show is just a own of reverse card. Playing four times, not to say. Of course, all on her own. I, I mean, I think in, at this time, yes. It was Horikita. Oh, are the right ones. Yes. At the point your objectives falls apart. It's over, man. I don't think this will work. Oh, okay. Okay. 
but his his real hand still doesn't know that is Ayano Koji. I think. Oh shit. Okay. Nice. Hey, that was quicker than I expected. I thought the test this part of the story would go on from at least one more episode, but that's nice. Which means that in the last three episodes we're gonna have we're gonna finally have the uh, kind of battle between Ayano Koji and Ryohan and poor K man, knowing real him, I mean, I we don't know real him that well, but knowing what we know, we, we know that K is in danger and probably they will do something really messed up with her. And on the part of Kushida, yes, she, she agreed with not trying to sabotage Horikita, but she still can sabotage the class and sabotage Anokoji. She still can indirectly try to affect Horikita. So, yeah, we won, but she that doesn't change what Kushida will be doing in the history. We, she's not our ally. She will, she will continue to be who she was being the whole time. Something that I'm really curious is that in this season they showed Sakura three times and there are there were three random times at the first episode and then in the last episode she appears observing Ayano Koji and then in this episode she appears wanting to join the group but every appearance of her is just one phrase and it doesn't make sense it's just oh my god we need to it it feels like the direction just are thinking that they need to put her in some scene i don't know uh, i don't think she would be a traitor what i'm trying to say is that it must be a motive for her to be appearing in such a random ways random ways it's just strange but okay i don't know which versus real hand beginning next week and now I don't know if you will have to protect K because he promised her she, pro she he promised her that he would protect her so so this will be very good to see so don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the reaction and I will see you in the next video